Miss America 9 is not just fast and beautiful, it's historic. In mid-September, the boat made its first trip ever to Smith Mountain Lake. This is the boat, first boat in the world to ever go 100 miles an hour. March 20th, 1931. As you approach the boat, you get a feeling of awe. From the gloss of 38 coats of varnish covering the original gold leaf lettering, to the fact that it eventually set several speed records, topping out at 111 miles an hour. This boat was built in 1930 by Gar Wood for the ninth defense of the Harmsworth Trophy. There's 10 Miss Americas. This is the ninth in that series. And it raced in 1930 and 31 against the British Challengers. The original motors were recalled by the government prior to World War II as prototypes for PT boats that would later roam the South Pacific. For the past three decades, it's been powered by two 454 cubic inch Chevrolet racing engines with the original Holley carburetors. I understand that when you start this thing, we're going to hear some noise. It makes a tremendous amount of noise. <clears throat> we set the exhaust system up the way the original Packard engines were, straight up and straight exhaust, no mufflers. And people say, well, do you have a horn on the boat? And I said, I really don't need one. On the water, the boat is amazing, accelerating effortlessly to 70 miles an hour. The ride is smooth, thanks to a design that includes a bow rudder and a stepped hull that allows the boat at speed to skim the water surface without a windshield. It's just you, the exhaust from those big engines, and your face in the wind. Charles says the Miss America 9 is a champion with nothing left to prove, but people are always asking. You ever pull up next to a bass boat and just say, want to run it? Oh, they all, they all want to race it, and you know how this boat accelerates, and I'm next to them and probably going 60, 70 miles an hour, and then I open it up and go, bye-bye. <laughs> During your ride, we were going probably uh, uh, at the, just at the peak, 70 miles an hour, and that was 50, 50, uh, 5,000 RPM, 5,200 RPM. The engine turned 6,500, so you do the math and that's well over 100. Charles tells me that when he first saw this boat in a warehouse in Algonac, Michigan, it was in terrible shape. But he told the guy if he ever wanted to sell it, he'd buy it. Two years later, the man called. Uh, for some reason, fate picked me to uh, protect and preserve this boat, and two years later, I ended up buying it. And then, gently and lovingly restoring it. Unlike owners of the handful of other similar boats from that era, Charles puts the Miss America 9 in the water, touring the country, driving the boat as it was meant to be driven. There are five Harmsworth boats uh, in existence, uh, four are in museums, they're what I call trailer trophies, and then there's this one that actually goes in the water, goes fast, makes a tremendous amount of noise, as you found out, and it's just a thrill every time I get in the boat. Charles and his boat made appearances at nine shows this summer, and though it's capable of those incredible speeds, he typically takes it easy on the 81-year-old vessel. She's 81 years old, and I'm too old to be doing that anymore. After all, it is a piece of history. This boat is to water what the spirit of St. Louis is the aviation, and there's only one. This is it. At Smith Mountain Lake, I'm John Carlin for the Fox 2127. 10 o'clock news.